Hey guys, welcome back to my garden. I want to show you an updated method for how we're going to mix our hydroponic fertilizer at home using master blend, calcium nitrate, and Epsom salt. And this is by far the best method that I've found to mix up your fertilizer to get the most benefits out of the new nutrients without getting any type of nutrient lockouts or gypsum or anything like that. Have you guys ever mixed up your fertilizer and noticed there was solution or particles that was still left down there in, in your reservoir? That's called gypsum. Gypsum is calcium sulfate. It's a very insoluble form of calcium and sulfur that your plants are not able to take up. So even though the food or nutrients is right there in your container for the plant to use, the plant is not able to use it. It's called nutrient lockout. So let me show you guys by far the, the correct way how to mix up your fertilizer using calcium nitrate, master blend, and Epsom salt. We're gonna have to use a two-part method over here for mixture, and we're gonna have to split up your nutrients. You don't wanna just dump it all together, because when you throw all the nutrients in together, when the calcium nitrate and magnesium sulfate, or better known as Epsom salt, is mixed together in, um, in a high concentration, that forms gypsum, which is the, what I talked about earlier. So just take your part A container here, and we're gonna start with our master blend. Be really careful not to agitate the powder too much or shake it up because you don't want to get the dust particles up in the air. I'm going to use uh, 4 grams over here. Make sure to zero out the scale with the water in it before putting in the master blend. And you want to mix it up. Now you want to stir it until you notice everything is completely dissolved. Now once that's dissolved guys, you want to put that aside. Don't forget to close up your master blend container, move it away from you. You don't want to accidentally knock that over. Now we're gonna take our, our next container, container B, put it on the scale, same thing, zero out the container, and take your calcium nitrate to start. We're gonna use same thing, four grams of calcium nitrate. And when you're weighing it out, make sure you're pouring your, your solution in slowly. You don't wanna just dump it all in because if you put too much, you're not gonna be able to take it out since the water's in there and you're gonna have to throw away and waste your solution. So just pour it in slowly guys, it's better to add little by little. And same thing, you want to mix until everything is completely dissolved. Now that that's ready, after your master blend, you noticed everything is completely dissolved in there, take your container A back and we're going to have to add Epsom salt or magnesium sulfate. Now be sure you're, you're labeling your containers this way you don't mix up your, your Epsom salt and put it into the calcium nitrate by mistake. Now that we have our container A back on the scale, make sure you keep your master blend spoon that was in there still in there to not mix it up and put it by accident into the Epsom salt container. Everything should be in its own space and everything should have its own spoon. I'm going to use 2 grams of Epsom salt for 2 gallons of water here. Now, same thing, you want to pour it in nice and slow. And mix up container A solution until everything is completely dissolved. Now, just double check and make sure both parts are completely ready and dissolved. Now that everything is ready, you could see that um, our master blend and Epsom salt is in container A, our calcium nitrate is in container B. And we're gonna have to pour, pour it in one step at a time, guys. So take your container A and pour that in first. Now make sure to get every drop, so take a little bit of water and pour it back in the, the cup here and pour that back in. And you wanna mix that solution up. This is a great time to get your kids involved and, and get them their interest going in hydroponics or maybe in gardening. Here's my two-year-old son who loves to help and he loves to kind of pick and, and play in the garden with me, so I'm letting him enjoy and mix this up for me. Now mix that up real well, make sure everything is completely dissolved in there and it's, it's spread out as evenly as possible. Now that that's dissolved, Next is part two, which is going to be our container B solution, our calcium nitrate. So pour that in, nice and slow, get every drop again, and mix that up again. Same thing, you want to stir that up really well, guys, get everything 
nice and distribute it evenly or as as good as you can. A good method for this is you could throw air stone in there also, let the air stone do the work. Now that everything's mixed up guys, it's a good idea to test the pH. So we have a reading of 6.08, which is going to be absolutely perfect for my tomato plant. Next we're going to test the ppm, which is the parts per million. And we have a reading here of approximately 618 parts per million. And I'm going to make another video about pH and ppm coming up really soon guys. There's a lot to discuss about that. A lot of misconception going around. So now that everything is reconnected guys, our, our container here has basically 2 gallons of water, 4 grams of master blend, 4 grams of calcium nitrate, 2 grams of Epsom salt. The tomato plant is looking really good guys. You can see over here it's putting on these beautiful little fruits that are finally starting to get nice and big. I'm waiting for everything to ripen up and put on these beautiful, beautiful red colors. I can't wait. As you see, the tomatoes are just scattered about and things are looking really good, guys. So let's reassemble everything back together, put the base back in, make sure your sub pump goes back inside. And I want to push that down a little bit just to make sure it's all the way down and the little suction cups are connected to the bottom of the container here. Now that everything is set up, all I gotta do is just basically throw this back under my grow system and under the lights. But before we go, let's, let's put this pump on. Let me show you guys what the system looks like when the pump is going and the water is running. This is a mini ebb and flow kit that I created where the system just floods. As you see, the water comes up all the way and then it's able to drain right back down into the, cont into the container below. And I usually flood it every hour for approximately 5 to 10 minutes, normally around 5 minutes or so. And then I let, let this thing drain back down and I unplug it. You can use a timer or you can manually turn this thing on and off. I like to manually turn it on and off this way I have a little bit more control. And make sure to clean out any of these flowers or any, any leaves that you see fall into your container. So as you see guys, the water is draining up really well. It's draining back down into the bottom container equally as well. And we have a nice cycle going over here. You can see if I move the roots, even just at the very top, the root system has just engulfed this entire container. And you want to keep the root system as covered as best as possible, guys. So it might be a good idea to even add a couple of clay pebbles as your, your grow keep goes on. Let's take a nice close look at the tomatoes growing before we go. And I hope you guys like the episode. If you do, please show me some love. Hit that thumbs up. Post any messages or comments down below. Ask any questions you may have, guys. I'll do my best to respond. I may not know everything, but I'm going to do my best to try to answer your question. And hopefully this method will help you mix up your hydroponic fertilizer and avoid getting gypsum in your container and getting nutrient lockout. You don't want to have your plants not be, being able to absorb the calcium, being able to absorb the sulfur. Such a waste. The food is right there waiting to be used. The plant can't take it. It's essentially starving itself. You like the episode, guys? Hit that thumbs up. Thanks for watching.